fall and welcome to Mimi's Sketchbook. Today my illustration is based on Paul Tripp's book New Morning Mercies and today is May 25th. This is my lawnmower. I love it and I've had it for many years. It's a good reliable lawnmower and I don't love it so much because it mows my lawn. I love it because it's so powerful it can mulch up leaves and sticks and I can use it, the mulch that it's created to put back into my garden. And I just really look forward to that time when the leaves fall and I have this free source of mulch to go back um, on top of my garden uh, in the fall so it protects it during the winter but it also nourishes it for the following year. And this mower is great at that. The problem is that when you mulch, you have to, when the bag fills up, you have to stop and empty it and restart the mower. And every time you stop the mower, mower it seems to take twice as many pulls to get it started again. And um, it seems to be getting harder and harder. And on top of it, I'm left-handed and I have to yank with my right hand to get it started. So this year, I just didn't want to face that frustration again and that feeling of helplessness when I can't get it started. So I made the decision to buy a battery operated lawnmower, which I can turn on with a switch and it is very easy to operate, although it definitely isn't as powerful as my old one. But the bigger picture is that I am getting older and as I get older, I am getting weaker and I am getting to, going to have to become more dependent on other people and services to help me out. Today in his devotions, Paul Tripp talks about being weak, physically, mentally, all kinds of weak. We don't want to be weak. It's almost a sign of failure being weak. But he says, the great danger is your delusion of strength. Because if you think you're strong, then you don't seek the help that you desperately need from the one who is the ultimate source of strength of every kind. So thank you for joining me today at Mimi's Sketchbook. I hope this was an encouragement to you, and God bless.